Good morning, you guys. Later morning. I was up early this morning making a bunch of Yogurt 101 videos and I got them all uploaded and I was all excited. And then it occurred to me, what if you make a mistake? What happens if you make a mistake when you're making your yogurt? So the first thing that you need to know is don't panic. It doesn't always work the first time when you make yogurt. It's science and it can be a little bit tricky. Um, the good news is that you can almost never fail. And here's why. If you prepare your milk and do all of the stuff and it doesn't get solid like yogurt, it's still just milk. Like you can use milk. So there's a couple different ways you can fix problems that are really, really easy. So first, you have to troubleshoot what went wrong. As we previously discussed, the process of making yogurt is to take milk, raise the temperature to 180 degrees, and then cool it down to around 110 degrees, and then hold it at 110 degrees for a long period of time so that your yogurt can incubate. That's the problem. Usually mistakes come in if your yogurt was too hot or too cold. And let me dive into that just a little bit deeper. The yogurt starter is a live and active culture as we discussed. So you have to get your milk fairly cold, not cold, warm, like room te temperature, that's around 110 for a liquid. Um, if your milk is more than 110 degrees and you put in that yogurt starter, you've killed your starter. So it's not live and it's not active, it's dead and inactive. So your yogurt did not set because you killed off your yogurt starter. The way to solve that problem is that you have to get a new batch of starter, you reheat that milk up. Um, really at that point, you only have to make sure that it's at 110 again, put in fresh starter, stir it up and incubate it for another eight to 10 hours with the fresh starter and you should have yogurt homemade yogurt, just like that. So that's the way to fix it if you got the milk too hot. If the temperature dropped too low, so say you're not using a yogurt, ma yogurt maker or your yogurt maker got unplugged, or if for whatever reason, wherever you were incubating your yogurt got cold and it wasn't cold enough to incubate that starter, it's kind of the same thing. You, I would heat my milk back up to about 110 degrees, put in new starter, make sure that it's well insulated if you're using a jar or make sure your yogurt plugger, your yogurt maker doesn't get unplugged and incubate it for eight to 10 hours. And voila, you've got yogurt. So it's not hard to fix. If you try these things and it doesn't work and you're like, I still just have this jar of milk, you can still use that milk in recipes. Use it to make cake, use it to make pancakes, use it to make waffles. It'll be gone before you know it, I promise. So um, failed yogurt is not failed yogurt. Failed yogurt is still just milk. And so you can use it, you can cook with it, you can eat it, just make sure you refrigerate it when you're not using it. All right, so that's what happens if you happen to make a mistake. If you have more questions, put them below in the comment section and I'm happy to answer them or email me your questions. Thanks so much, bye.